one we did for a trade show with the National Restaurant Association. And this is talking about kind of benefits of membership. So you've got X number of categories, and I can mouse over to any one of those. And I get my category. Did you see how it kind of popped out there? No. Okay. What was really cool is these were on touch screens. So you see that little X at the top. And you built this the same way that, that you were just showing us? Yep. So what's happening, you'll see the filter fade away and then the photo go full screen. So we basically just took a little cropped version of that photo and then made it on the very next slide, the, the background, right? Really cool. And then we've got some photos kind of filtering through there. Uh, this one's a little trickier to see. Yeah, okay, see this little plot there. Now we've got these advanced buttons. See how that's like flicking back and forth like that? That's just more chill. So this is the exact same big like square thing and we put it on one side of the screen and we put it on the other side of the screen to give it that swipe idea there. At any point in time, again, this is that conversational presenting. I can click back, throws me back to the home screen. You can choose any one of these policies or features of the membership. And bounce up like that. So that's one example of using Morph. So it doesn't always have to be, you can, you can do this with basic hyperlinking, but the neat thing about Morph is you have that, I want to say like continuation, yeah. you, is that a word? Yeah. You have that progression between two slides. It's not, one of the challenges that often I felt with slides is the uh, independence of each of them. Whereas here, you've got this continuation of what you're trying to uh, show to the audience. 